everyone. Hey, hey. Welcome to After Hours here at Linda's Electric Quilters. Yes. We are super excited that you are joining us this evening. We have a really fun project planned out for you tonight. We do. We do. And it, ha it really brings out your inner child. It really does. It's absolutely, it's so much fun. So, so much fun. It really is. It really is. So, I just love these little fabric balloon balls. You can't balls. even hold I on to them. They're just really <laughs> light and super fun. Like, you know, while we're waiting on people to get on, we can just, like, play. Look. Uh huh. Boom, yeah. Boom. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Oh, boom, goodness. Boom. You're fun. What? You All are right. hilarious. See? Oh, yep. There you go. Just like that. Boom, 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 boom. No, it's fun. Like These are a lot of fun. They're very lightweight. They're yes. easy to make. They're super easy to make. I'm going to yeah. show you that tonight. Uh -huh. uh, just fun. All enjoy they're just cute. I just like them. Well, I mean, and the best thing is they're balloons, so you can just let the air out or pop that one, fold it up for the next one, and you're ready to go. You're ready to go. Yeah. So, hey, That's let that. us know if you have ever made one of these fabric balloon balls. Yeah. Fun time fabric balloon balls. Um, I know at least one person watching has. Oh. Shout out to Shirley. Um, yeah. One of our amazing customers actually showed us yes. um, how she made one of these with this amazing template set. And we're like, oh, we got to have We got to try that. And we got to have yeah, these. Yeah, exactly. And then Corey's been back here making them. And he's like, like oh, crazy. I got so many gifts I can make now. Because, so you know, you only need one so template fast. set and you can make a thousand of them you can you honestly yeah can. as long as you, you have the fabric plenty. and balloons right so anyway okay all i right. think without further ado let's just jump into it all right let's, let's do that. get into it and okay. see exactly what we can do okay let's do that so um with these fun time fabric balloon uh, template sets they come in a six inch size and a 10 inch size so you can make a smaller one maybe for infants or toddlers okay. or um, me or for you yeah you can have that one <laughs> Or you can make the 10 inch one, which is much larger, uh, fun to kick around, fun for the inner child within you. Exactly. There's so many things you can do with this one and they are absolutely fun. So tonight we are going to be doing the 10 inch one. So we'll move, you want to hold on to that? There you go. You're I will, charge. but let's show them over there, like on the description, um, it'll say kind of how to cut it with all solid fabric. So show them what it looks like. Oh, with solid. yes. You got to show your first I was getting prototype. There. Hold on. <laughs> so my prototype was this one. This is a all solid, the exact same fabric all the way around. Mm -hmm. And that is what the instructions tell you. And that's what they're showing you in this is using that same fabric. But I wanted to take it a step further after playing around with it and pattern these around the sides and do something different on the top and on the bottom. Yes. So that's what we're going to be working with tonight. But you can do one full solid fabric out of something you've got in your scraps. And it's just a quarter of a yard or a quarter of a yard, a third of a yard yep. is all you need. So we're going to take this set. I'm going to open it up for you so you can see how it's used. Get nice instructions here. We get the six sided template there to do the six sides of the ball and then the little um, hexagon for the top and the bottom. And it also comes with two balloons. There you go. We love that. So everything is there that you need to get started, but your fabric. So yes. that's super fun. Okay. Yes. So I am going to start with my fabric, and this is my alma mater, so I'm going to use this one. Yes. And I am going to just open this up. And the way I look at doing this, and this is a tip that I found when I was doing these many, many times, is I want to start with a fold, because you can fold this over itself multiple times and just do one nice cut all the way through it. So I can take this, and let me turn it this way. It makes it a little easier for me to fold it. And I can start my first fold, and I can lay that template to gauge that size and see if that's what I'm exactly going to need. And I can see that that'll work for me. Perfect. So then I can pull this right at that seam line, or just I'm going to call it a seam line for lack of a better term, but at that fold, lay that down, and there's my three pieces that I'm going to need since I'm patterning this around the side. Now, right. remember, if you're doing one solid fabric, do six of these. Yep. Okay. But since I'm doing a pattern, I'm going to do three of one and three of another. I'm going to double check one more time that that's good with sizing. I'm going to take it over to the ironing mat. Um, I just like to give it one nice press through. To make it probably a little bit easier for cutting. It's a, it's a little it easier to hold it together. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. So one nice iron through. Not that crazy by any means, but just enough to hold it. And then once I've got that, you can come back to the cutting board here, take a rotary cutter and slice if you want to get rid of that excess. I just like fabric scissors, come right through here, cut that away. We good so far? We are, we got okay. people watching from all over. In Australia again. That's awesome, Michigan, Colorado, Florida. So Love I'm gonna it. lay this here. Let's go. Move this off to the side. And I'm just gonna set my template right on top. Doesn't matter, there is no right or wrong side to this template. And then I'm just going to get a nice grip on it, come in with my rotary cutter, 
and start the cutting process. Remember, I'm doing three layers here, so just take your time with that. And once you get to the end, just keep rolling off of it just like that. And you can move that fabric off to the side. I'm going to take this and come right here. Keep going straight off of that. And y'all are going to love this. It rotates now. <laughs> we got a rotating cutting mat now. We We're moving, moving up. up. <laughs> <laughs> so take that and continue cutting around those sides, uh, just holding up against that template. All the way. Just like that. And if you have a little straggler, that's why we keep these little fabric scissors around. Just give it a nice little cut Perfect. right there. All so right. move all those pieces off to the side. And that would give us our three pieces here because I only did three folds. So there's my first three. Perfect. And then I'm going to be doing another college fabric as my pattern. So then I've got my other three already cut. Just there like so. Alrighty. So that's my first section with that. Since you have these out already, you're going to go ahead and do another part of this. Flip this fabric pretty side down and lay your template right back on top of that fabric. And I want you to take a fine, super fine tip pin, like extra, extra fine tip pin. And there we go. And what you're going to do is there's four holes on the corner of this template. Yeah, so this was just size 0 0.5. It's called fine, the fine tip like in the school supplies. Perfect. And you're just going to take that and make dots inside those four holes. And you want to do that on all of your pieces. And that's what you're going to be stitching in between. So I'll move that one off to the side. Lay this one down. Line that template back up. Dot, 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 and dot. So take that one, and then last but not least, we're going to take this one, line this one up, rightly so, and just dot right through there, just like that. So I have these three, and then I've already done these other three on the back of this one. So you want to do your dots on all of those. Once that's done, set these over to the side, and now we get to cut out our hexagons. Yay. Okay, so I'll set that template over here. I'm going to take this. I wanted to do a different color fabric on top and bottom. Like we said before, you can do the same fabric all the way through. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to take this same process of the fold. Eyeball it. Make sure you've got plenty of space here for your cut. Fold, fold, fold. Line that up. Take it over. Give it a nice press just to make it easy. There you go. Nice press just like that. Boom. Back over to your cutting board. Lay this one on here. If you want to get rid of any excess fabric, now would be the time. I'm just going to eyeball that yeah. just like that. That was easy. <laughs> and then come around. And same thing here. You're going to cut around this side. And it's easier just to go right straight off the edges here. Rotate. Man, why have we never had one of these before? I have these no Rotating idea. cutting mats are everything. <laughs> and you're just going to keep slicing right off this. And yes, I know I'm wasting a little bit of fabric here. However, you could, you know, line that template up a little bit better so you can get the most out of your fabric. But we're just cutting right through. No worries there. All right. Those off to the side. Same thing here. You've got marking points along this template. This time you have six on each corner or one on each corner of the six, not six on each corner. My goodness. <laughs> Lay this one down, put this on top. Now, the thing about this, especially with me using a black fabric, I can't see this pin right on top of that. So I'm going to come in with a chalk pencil. And I'm just going to scrape right over the top of that fabric hole. And it's going to drop a little bit of chalk dust. Don't you love that, Diana? Yeah. A little bit of chalk dust right down there. Dust. You can just scrape it right over. I was thinking, that chalk pencil is not going to fit in there. And nope. Then you, and you said that. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Oh, perfect. And that's going to push it through. And then you could use your pencil. If you wanted to. If you wanted just to define the lines, uh, the dots a tad bit more. Perfect. But that way you can actually see it. So you're going to do that around all six points here. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Now, if you're using a lighter color fabric, you, that use your pen, you, right? you could still see your pen yeah, at that point. But these darker color fabrics, it's nice to have a chalk pencil to do that. Yep. Never needs a chalk chalk pencil. You always have to have a chalk pencil. Anyway, just you for always your studio needs a chalk stuff. pencil. Yep. All right. So that takes care of all of those. All right. Okay. So with these, we've cut out three of these hexagons, and you're thinking, why there's not three sides on this ball? There's yeah. only a top and a bottom. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to set one of these off to the side with my other pieces that I've already cut. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take these hexagons, both of these little dots be backwards. Uh -huh. Okay, so dots on both sides. Lay those together just like so. 
Then what I'm going to do is I like to have a straight edge with me because uh, I'm going to actually draw a line from point to point right here. And I'm going to grab my straight edge. And this isn't in the instructions. This is just a little tip that I found that's to make it a little bit easier for myself when I was making, you know, how many I put these I've done. <laughs> Probably too many. I should have been working. But I'm going to draw this line. And I'm just going to go faintly all the way through, just like that. And then you want to give yourself about an inch to an inch and a half of gap right here. And you'll see why. But about an inch to an inch and a half of gap. So I go ahead and just kind of measure that out. You can eyeball it, or you can come in with your cutting mat and kind of give it a nice eyeball here. Like I said, just, we'll just eyeball this one. So I'm going to chalk a section there. That's a good section right there. Yep. So there and there. And this is just going to help me when I get to my sewing machine on where I need to start and stop okay. at that point. Perfect. But now that we've got that, I'm going to first take this section to the sewing machine because I need to then come back and press this. So okay. I'm going to hop over to the sewing machine real quick. And I can also press two in between. You can keep going. And right here, I'm going to drop my foot down. This is just a regular straight line stitch at this point. Nothing crazy here. I would recommend, however, doing a couple of back stitches on this one because this is where the balloon is going to be coming out of. And if you have a little bit more of those back stitches, it's going to be more secure. So you just back stitch back and forth a couple of times until you get to that line. Once I do that, I'm just going to bring up my needle and hop straight forward. I'll cut that jump stitch later at that point. Line it back up with that marking that I made. Kind of move my fabric if it's moved already. And then start stitching again. Begin with that back stitch. And we're just back stitching back and forth a couple of times. That's really going to lock this down, and you'll see why until we get all the way to the end. Okay? I'm going to head back over to the machine or the machine goodness gracious <laughs> I was just at the machine back yeah. over here to our cutting table and I am going to trim these threads away my little jump stitches just like so nothing crazy there and this is the this is what really th I thought was amazing you're gonna fold this on both sides just like that there's oh. your opening there's your hexagon for the bottom cool you see that got it okay so I'm gonna hop right over here Press this down. It makes it a little bit easier for you. Go ahead and press that down nice and flat. One good, nice, long press. Once you have that done, then everything goes straight to the sewing machine, and we're good to go from there. So I'm going to get those nice and pressed. I'm going to collect my materials, my other hexagon, all six of my pieces, and I'm going to head right over to the sewing machine. And... Let me get positions. Now, with this one, what we're doing is a quarter inch stitch, when a quarter inch seam allowance, excuse me, not a stitch, but a quarter inch seam allowance around this. And what I'm doing here is I'm going to actually, I have a quarter inch hopping foot, which I like to use, so I'm going to put that on here real fast. And I've dropped my stitch length down to 1.5. Uh, I just like the way that looks. It holds up a little bit better with these when you're kicking them around. And then I'm going to pattern these. So I'm going to start with one, take this next one, right sides together, line those bad boys up, at least on one section. And you want to put your needle down in that first dot. So I'm going to pick this up, drop this down, and then I'm going to take my needle and put it right down in that first dot, just like so. Okay. And then I might have to adjust. There we go. Okay. And then from here, it's just a sewing thing. So I'm going to stitch with that quarter inch seam allowance, a back stitch every time you get started. Take this. You might have to make sure your fabric stay in alignment. And this is just your slowly going around this curve at this point. And it's nothing you have to press or nothing you have to push. Just let kind of the fabric naturally eat itself up. And you just help guide it. And when you're getting close to that ending point, just back stitch, stop, cut your threads. And then we move right on to the next one. No ironing needed at this point. So I'm just moving right on to the next one here. Lining these up. I've got my dot at the top. I'm going to drop my hopping foot down. Put my needle in place. Line up this fabric so all the ends line up nicely here. Looking good, looking good. And I'll be on my way. Always remember to back stitch and then continue on. 
And you're going to do this all the way around. So once you get really comfortable with it, you can speed your machine up. Get closer to the end here. When you get to that dot, backstitch, you're stopping at the dot. So start at the dot, stop at the dot. Take your next piece, since we're doing a pattern. Line these up. God, isn't this fast, Diana? It is fast. It's fast. How much if you, you have all this stuff, job. if you have all this stuff cut out ahead of time, you could just sit here and just knock you can these make a bunch out. Of these. Oh yes. This would even be like a really good like a charity project too. Oh yeah, like definitely. I can make a bunch of them and donate them to like children's things. I feel like play. that's your way of telling me you're I'm about to do you're that. You're probably gonna be doing that. You okay. know how much I love to do charity work. So mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's probably gonna be me. So you just keep on going all the way through here. Remember, backstitch once you see that dot. Cut your threads and go on to the next Although one. Although I feel like I could probably master this after. This, it's it's really, really, yeah, really, really easy. easy now it really it. is easy. Yeah. And once you, know, you have a video to go along with it, that's what makes it even easier. Yeah. You know, and the template's of already ready to go the for The template's you amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. I See, I can't cut, a, I can't even sew a straight line, let alone cut a straight one. <laughs> Having that template saves it. Just cutting all, or cutting, stitching all the way around this trying to keep that quarter inch as best as you can. It's not super imperative that it has to be a perfect quarter of an inch. And then our last piece right here. So while you're pulling that together, I just love one of these um, person's names, Conquering Mount Scrapmore. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I thought that was cute. <laughs> yeah. We got some people from Canada watching as oh, well. Oh, awesome. So from all over. So remember, always doing that back stitch when you start and when you end. Start and you end, keep that fabric nice and flat, and just let it take it naturally. And you just help curve with it so it has no puckers. You see your dot, back stitch. Take that. All right, so we've done all six of those. Well, maybe, if I can get that last <laughs> one. Now we're going to put one and six together and stitch those down. Perfect. Okay, so we'll line that up, find our dot, drop your foot down, needle down, remember, so it just makes it easier for you to line everything up while that fabric stays still. You can move things, do whatever you need to do to it, and then you're starting up, back stitching, and off again. Gonna take this all the way around. Making sure that's nice and flat. Sometimes this fabric likes to get away from you. No big deal. Just stop the machine, move it, and you're good to go again. Okay, see your dot, backstitch. Well, if I can press the right button, that would be even better. <laughs> yeah, and then there it goes. Perfect. So that's our first part right there, is just putting all those together. That's the outside of the ball. Okay. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is take my uh, hexagon that doesn't have an opening. Okay. And I I'm going to place that at the top of my ball. Now I have a directional one because I have directional fabric. If you don't, put it wherever side you want. Take that top one. I want to be able to see these chalk dots. And what I'm going to do is basically match seam line to seam line, fabric to fabric right here. Okay. And I'm going to stitch that in a straight line from dot to dot. Okay, still quarter inch seam allowance. This gets to be a little bulky on the fabric, so don't beat yourself up. Take your time. If you need to pin it, you can. Nothing wrong with that. But you're going to get that. You're going to see your dot needle down just to make it a little easier for you. Line that up. This is another back stitching moment as well. And you're going to the dot, back stitch. I personally pull up my foot and I recenter this each time. You could just bounce from side to side if you're really getting into it. I think it's easier just to move this around. So I'm going to get that lined up, lay that there. You want that to be nice and flat, just okay. like that. And you're going to work that around uh, that whole six times all the way you go. So you can work that through, line up your fabrics, back stitch and go. This is probably the most tedious part of it, is getting these to line up. You're cutting, you're jumping, you're flipping, you're going. Yeah. But you put on Let's a good show it. or some good music, and you're going to town. That's right. Exactly. I love that we carry these templates to sell, too. We have them online. Um, What's our website? Oh, longarmsupplies.net. Oh, I love that. Yep. They're called Fun Time Fabric Balloon Balls. 
Just put fun time in the search description. That's the only thing that says fun in the okay, <laughs> title <that's true. laughs> of any of them. Just, put fu- just type in fun time at the search box. There you go. Up. There you go. So I'm just working this through all the way. I wanted y'all to be able to see this all step by step. We were going to have something completely basically almost done already, but we said, no, let's, let's let them see this because you'd be surprised what one little thing can really change in a video. Isn't that right? Yep. There's some one little tiny step. One little tiny step. That might get glazed over, and that just changes your whole outlook on how this is done. So we just keep working on this all the way through. It looks messy right now. It won't when you flip it all the way out. It's going to look great. Y'all going to love it. Trust me. Okay. One side left. Yay. Look at that. Lay that nice and flat best you can. Flip that underneath. Ooh. Just like that, and go to town. Okay, we're gonna cut that. That's that side, and you're gonna do the exact same thing with your uh, folded piece right up top. Okay. Now this side doesn't have any dots because we flipped them together. This is where you're gonna begin to eyeball it. If you'd like to put dots on, feel free to grab your template, chalk those dots down, or pin them down. Okay. Same thing here plop those together on this other side and throw it underneath the machine. Just like that. Now this one scooted on me a little bit, so don't be afraid to check it before you get going. Never hurts. No. And then put that back. Back stitch on this one as well. And flip and go. Now you can see why I've made so many in 24 hours. Because <laughs> I just keep, I stay back here and just keep going. I know. I was like, uh, he's not up there working. He's mm, playing. He's playing. Just like that. Let me go around. But you can imagine these for all sorts of different activities, uh, family reunions, weddings, gatherings, get-togethers. You know, now that now that COVID's starting to hopefully clear. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah. Um, you, know, you have a gathering. Bring a couple of these around. Doesn't matter if they get popped. It's not going to hurt anybody if it hits them. Yeah. You know, it's. Well, we were. T- you and Ryan were testing it back here, hitting these glasses, and they weren't even falling. Oh, okay, let's not tell the people that <laughs> we were back here destroying the set. No, with you were like, okay, balls, let's test this I out. I wanted to see. Yeah, I wanted to see what it could cause. One other cool thing about these is they actually bounce too. We didn't yeah. even talk about that. Oh no, we didn't. Um, <laughs> they actually bounce. Um, and they, that's, it's kind of cool when you bounce them around. You can, I, I bounce them all around the office right now. Um, but it, that's kind of nifty to me. I don't know why, but it's cool. Yeah, we'll have to show them that they bounce. And I've seen people use these for all sorts of different decorations. Um, I've seen these used in um, wedding photos. They put, like, lace instead of fabric like this. Oh, that's a good idea. And they fill up balloons and have them around. I know, all sorts of different things. So super cool. All right, we're on our last section here. Yay! Moving around, still going. I'm almost done. And once I get here, make sure I double back and cut. And then I can head back over to the cutting table and I can trim off these excess threads and I can um, flip it inside out and show you a trick on that as well. All righty. While you're coming over, I'm bouncing the ball. <laughs> The balloon. See how easy it just bounces? It's like super easy and it's so lightweight. And I it can is. hit it off of Corey's okay, head. Ow. It didn't even hurt him. Really? Keep going. So you won't even hurt the kids. <laughs> you won't even hurt the kids. That's good. That's parent of the year right there. <laughs> All righty. So I'm going to take I this. I meant to say like when kids are playing together, yeah, 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 they what won't you hurt meant. each yeah, other. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm going to call somebody. <laughs> All right. So we have to flip this inside out. So we have our opening. It's very small. Don't let that scare you. But I want to take it all the way in and I want you to grab the other side this black side, pull that, start that process first by pulling that part through. That's going to make it so much faster and easier than trying to pull in all the sides at one time. Oh, trust good me. tip. Good tip. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. And you think you're going to rip something, but you double back to that time so many times yeah. that don't worry about it. Just pull it through. You can you kind of shimmy it through in certain sections, but that came through. The first one that I did took me 30 minutes to pull this through because <laughs> I was trying to pull all the sides as but opposed to just from reaching, the bottom. but take it all the way from the bottom. And just grab it. And then this gets flipped in on itself. Just like so. Well, bam. There's your ball. 
Wow, Stuff and like, like that. really easy to show it. Like you can just you ready to fold, fold that up. up? You can throw that in your pocket whenever y'all are done. Yeah, and be on your way. Take and out then when you get somewhere, right you good to go. So then yeah. we're gonna take this b balloon, pop this in, right through here, and then we get to test my lung skills right now. So. Okay, let's see. Should I count? I would mm -hmm. be like pulling out, going, ah, ah, breathing hard. You got this. I wonder if you can do it with even being popped. That no, was fast. Stop it. <laughs> so I pull that. I'm going to tie, tie this it. one. Now, the instructions talk about twisting and put, tucking it underneath. You can definitely do that. Um, huh. We found that tying it just makes it a little easier for it to stay together, especially with me because I like to kick it. Yeah. And for this, you're just going to take this and let's get you an overhead yeah. of that. And you're just going to take this piece here instead of leaving it dangling out. If you'll give yourself a little bit of leverage, you can push that underneath this fold and then hold it with your other finger. That way it stays down there. Yeah. Just so you don't see it. That is so, that's, Boom. I love that. Done. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Both colleges represented. I a know. little bit of solid color to separate it out. Yeah. Awesome. And then, bam. Now yeah. I've got my own fun time fabric balloon. Yay. And like I said, they bounce like you showed. And this is just, it's super easy making these. Like I said, if you have all this stuff already cut out, yes. you're good to go. Oh, you can make a bunch of you them. You can make a ton of them. There's so much fun. You know, yeah. I'm going to go play. You got this. Okay. So I do have this. <laughs> As it's bouncing away. <laughs> See, didn't break anything. Important you to have, have the that. template set. You didn't have that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just as a recap, you definitely want to have that template set. You have a six inch size and a ten inch size. Yep. I'd grab both of them if I were you, just to have them ready. You're yep. absolutely gonna love them. Yep. You um, can find them on our website. Yep, right there below, longarmsupplies.net. Yay! It's just it's stunning. Y'all gotta have one. Well, of it's these. like a it's super easy, 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 easy um, project, right? I make these for everybody. And it's all set perfectly. Everybody in my neighborhood's getting a fabric balloon. <laughs> <though. laughs> Pick out their favorite fabrics. Everyone pick right? out your fabrics. Great way to use scraps, too. An amazing way to use scraps. Yeah, and we had a suggestion about, you know, a great little baby shower gift, like to have. Now there's an that's idea. That's a little cool idea, Gender baby shower Gender reveal. Gift. There you go. I can fill it with confetti, make it pop. <laughs> okay. There's an idea. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, we hope that y'all enjoyed this amazing quick little tutorial on how to create one of these fun time fabric balloon sets. Yes. Again, they are available on our website, longarmsupplies.net. Yep. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we will get to them as um, as we see them as we yeah. can. Uh -huh. And as always, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Yes, um, please. It's right down at the bottom right hand corner. Right there. Um, and after you see that, click on the little bell so you can get notified whenever we post new videos or whenever we go live here at After Hours. Yay. No, that was super fun. I had Yay. so much fun watching you. Now I know <laughs> I can do that. It's easy. And it's um, so if I can do it, you can do it. Trust yes, me. Exactly. And I don't know how to run a sewing machine. So yeah. y'all got this. <laughs> it's easy. Just follow the lines. Exactly. Follow so. the lines. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys Alrighty. for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.